Matt, who's making some filet and lobster. That's right. The man that needs no introduction, but we'll do it anyway. Mike Savali <laughs> from Fleming Steakhouse joining us on the Roadshow this morning. What a way to finish the week. I walk in, I see lobster tails the size of little ping pong paddles and steak or filet or what do we got? We're finishing the week on a bag. Oh, this is outstanding. Well, we got a little bit of everything. We got all the things that a family should have in the morning. We've got filet, lobster tails, <laughs> bacon. What we're essentially doing is we're going to do a play on a surf and turf that we're currently doing in the restaurant right now. It's our memorable meals promotion that we do a couple of times a year. And this is the last one. And we obviously, when we do the last one, we do it big. Do you ever? So we're doing, uh, we're going to show you today how to make a really great surf and turf. This is actually, and you know how I am when I'm here. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. This sure, is one yeah. of those ones that a couple great ingredients and real simple preparation and you can knock somebody's socks off in two seconds flat with very little work. Well, you know, in a surf and turf, any meal intimidates folks. I mean, it, I get intimidated brutally in the kitchen, but when you hear surf and turf and you're combining two things, people are like, oh, I don't know how to do that, but uh, like you said, it's not much here. It's really not much, and we're going to make a couple nice garnishes to go with it. It's really, really easy, and I think when this is all said and done, you'll be very pleased. I usually am when you're here, Mike. <laughs> Good. Thanks for coming back. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Lobster tails. Oh, baby. Huh? How about that? Finishing off the week with some lobster on the roadshow. You can find the recipe and the ingredients online at foxprovidence.com. So happy you're both here this morning. <laughs> Back over to you. Send it on over to Lily, who's making the uh, filet and lobster. Sounds good, Lil. Oh, yeah, and it smells good here, too, Mel. Uh, first of all, in order to get this job done here, we're going to have to prepare the lobster tail. Now, I already see that you removed the body. For the most part, Which yeah. Which helps. All right, so now what are we going to do? This tail is a seven, eight ounce tail, and essentially that means it came from about a three and a half to four pound lobster. Oh, wow. So okay. we've gotten rid of like the part. It's not a chicken lobster anymore, Oh, right? no, That's... no. Chicken lobsters are the little guys. Okay. We use those to make stock. Okay. These, these are the real ones. <laughs> we got rid of all the other stuff for you. Lobsters are kind of tricky. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, you'll get a couple different ways. People want to cook them in a shell. People want to steam them. People right. want to bake them. What we like to do, just to make it a little different, mm -hmm. I've got some kitchen shears. Okay. And what we do is we just split the back. And this is before it's cooked. Before it's cooked. Do this while it's still raw, obviously. And then we just do a little cut and okay. a little cut. And what that's going to do is we're going to kind of open up the shell a little bit. Okay. Okay. And obviously wear your gloves. And we're just going to kind of very carefully crack the shell and pull the meat off. But of not it. really. Are we removing it? No, you're going to see. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to crack it, crack it very carefully. Okay. Okay. Because what you want to do, what I always tell you, presentation's up yes, there too. Yes, that's right. So we're going to leave it just on the end like okay. that. Okay. And then pop it right over the top. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. And then what we're going to do is butter it and bake it. I love that. Well, I tell you what, we're going to come back here in just a second and see the final results of this. For now, you get the recipe and ingredients on foxprovidence.com. Back over to you. All right. We're back in the kitchen this morning with uh, Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar. Surf and turf, and Elizabeth's surfing the turf right now. That's right, I am. She's actually on the farm right now. What's she doing over there? I don't know what she's doing. I have no having, idea. She's on the farm right now. Just just the, the smell coming off of this pan is so good. All right, so All what right. are we doing? We're doing memorable meals. Uh, last time of the year we're doing it. We do three times a year. We do a really special promotion where for $49.50, we give you an incredible deal, a three-course dinner. Nice. This last one we're doing is our big one. This okay. is our, this is this our, our thank you for coming in for the year. Uh, it's getting to the holidays, so we got to kind of break out the big stuff. So we're doing lobster tail and we're doing filet, but nice. we're going to do it with a little bit of twist. What okay. you're working on here, this is what's called fortichere mushrooms, which is essentially fortichere. That's how you oh, say. Oh, there it. you okay. go. Pronounced that wrong all morning. And I probably just pronounced it wrong too, so it's okay. <laughs> um, it's bacon, and you cook okay. the bacon down in its own fat, and then you add some shallots and some mushrooms to it, and we're going to finish it with a little bit of parsley, and we're going to use that as the base for our filet. We're going to give that. It's going to give it a real nice smokiness and earthy flavor, and our filet, as you know, which we've come on here numerous times before is just our standard filet. Mm -hmm. Okay, very simple. But as you worked on earlier, we've got lobster to talk about. That's right. So the nice thing about this particular dish, and you know how much I love to just put things on here that are easy to do. You took the lobster, you cut it for me, yep. you did a great job. Put it on a pan, a little bit of foil, a little right. bit of water. Okay? And when you're all done. How long was it in there? This was in about 20 minutes, give or take. Okay? So what we're gonna do is and we're gonna voila. we're gonna pop it open. Wow. wow. Now, it, it exploded out of that shell. Well, we pulled it out a little bit. That it, was, it, it flowered yeah, out. It flowered, it flowered out. It blossomed. It, yeah. The nice thing about this dish is not only does it look good, but the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it's not cooked overcooked. Because okay. lobster is one of those things that everybody has a tendency to yeah. overcook is they go, oh, it's red. It's done. Or, oh, hey, the tail's springing back. It's done. Well, gotcha. if it's springing back, it's springy. Okay. You know, okay. I need it. Okay. So what we've got here is a little bit of butter. Just a little bit just of butter. Just a little just bit. Just a stick or two. We just want to do just a stick or two. All right. And we grilled some lemons. 
Okay, another trick for presentation. Yeah. You just cut them in half and throw them in the same pan as That's the filet. Great. Yeah. All right, so to finish this up, we made a special compound butter to go with this filet. This butter, and you know, when, you, when you're seasoning things and looks you're like trying to yogurt. do yeah, a little bit, when you're doing things different, you try to make your own spin on it. Mm -hmm. This is a butter that we mixed with anchovy, garlic, <gasps> Kalmata olives, oh. a little bit of red wine, and parsley. Okay? Nice, nice piece of ciabatta. I'd eat that right Oh, now. you know. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a little smear. Hate the fish. A little smear. Oh, hold on one second here. Still a little cold, which is good. So give it a little smear right in the pan. Okay. Okay. Okay, well now you're going to plate this up because okay. we're ready to roll. Let's let's do it. Pick a plate. Now what you're going to do first and foremost, young lady, is oh. I need a nice mound All right, of I the can, bacon shell. I can do that. Right there. That's one thing I'm capable of is piling lots of food onto my uh. plate. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, hey, hey. All right. Every day. Is that for your family? Jeez. <laughs> is that for your family? Oh my goodness. This would be just for me. All right. So what we normally do is pop that fillet right on there. Okay. Now we're going to take our lobster tail. I'm going to put it right over there. And then I'm going to walk out the door. And then what we're going to do is we're going to no, take... No, you're not. I'm not going to let you. Now, the other thing we like to do is you can do this at home. If you've got like a little cup or a baking dish or a little ramekin, put a little bit of Perfect. lobster butter in it. Dip the lobster in it. Genius. Yep. Not going to hurt you. All right. Where are our interns? We're forkless. We're forkless this morning. Now, Mike, I want to ask you too. Is that, right. is that dessert over there that, that you brought? Well, I happen to bring dessert as well because you okay. know me. I always have to bring something sweet for you guys. All right. Well, there's something I want to say because... Yeah. I know you brought in dessert. Dessert's over there. Let, yes. You can see a nice uh, shot of the cake right down there. Oh, it's delicious. But there's something that I want to point out that this morning, uh, that that? There's, there's a chance that Elizabeth <laughs> might not have room for that, because this morning, throughout the morning on Eyewitness News this morning over on WPRI 12, from 5 to 7 a.m., in the commercial breaks, she just kept reappearing from the Roadshow Kitchen with this. More with and this. more food. Well, this was full, yeah. and now we're down to one final bite left. And apparently... Um, Someone's been eating dessert already this morning. Well, why don't you try it too, you know, because obviously we can go to Well, I asked for some, but apparently there isn't any left. <laughs> try, so we'll I tell you what, I'll give you this all quick. Oh. And you can eat it with a, with a spoon here. Or and you'll have the cake? I'll have the cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll give you the oh, of this. I'll just do this. All right, go ahead. Uh... <laughs> okay. Oh, look, you can actually cut it with a spoon. I was about to say it's tender enough That's that you should be able to get away with it. That's how tender it is. Well, I am going to have a bite of this. Try the bacon as well, because I know you're all about bacon. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This was some eggs? That was some eggs that actually make a really great breakfast. Delicious, little home fries. Right? And, it mm. worked, and it works well with filet, well, too. Well, Patrick's mouth is full, and mine's about to be, so I'm going to throw it over to Michelle. And